Welcome back to the class on uh, electrical vehicles and hybrid electrical vehicles. In this class, we are going to see how the power will be flow in a series and a parallel hybrid vehicles. In the last class, we have seen what is meant by hybrid vehicle, what are the different architectures of a hybrid vehicle that we have discussed in the last class. Now we are going to see how the power will be flow in a series as well as a parallel hybrid vehicle. First, we are taking the series hybrid vehicle. So, whenever we are seeing the series means the two sources are giving a power to the track to motor which is giving a proportion power to the front two wheels of a vehicle. Here one source is the IC engine where the IC engine is the unidirectional source. Nothing but it can able to give the mechanical output but it cannot receive the electrical power. But if we come to the battery it is giving the electrical output also it can receive the electrical power that is why you can say it is a bidirectional source. Now from this diagram this is a fuel tank of IC engine this is IC engine which is given the mechanical output that mechanical output we are given as generator the generator will be converting the mechanical power into the electrical output that we are rectifying by means of a power tronic rectifier circuit. See here the DC power is available. The DC power we are giving to the motor through the control circuit. The same DC power also we connected to the battery. Here battery charger. Now this motor is nothing but a propulsion motor which is giving a propulsion power to the front two wheels of a vehicle. Now we are going to see what are the different modes of operation. In first mode of operation, IC engine only giving up the propulsion power to the vehicle in this manner. In this mode of operation, the battery neither be giving electrical power nor taking any electrical power. In second mode of operation, only the battery is giving a power to the motor which is giving a propulsion power to the vehicle. In this mode, the IC engine is not giving any power. That is the second mode. In third mode, hybrid mode. In case of hybrid mode, when the vehicle is going very up area, it requires high amount of power. That power we can take it from both IC engine as well as a battery. That is third mode of operation. In fourth mode of operation, the IC engine is giving a propulsion power to the vehicle. Not only that, it is also giving a power to charge the battery. That is the fourth mode of operation. In fifth mode of operation, braking. Whenever we apply the braking to the vehicle, the speed of the vehicle will be decreases. So, the kinetic energy will be driven this motor. Now, this motor will be operating as a generator which is given the electrical output that will be stored in the battery because the power does not taken by the icing. That is the one more mode of operation. The last one is the hybrid charging. In case of hybrid charging, the battery will be charged through the IC engine as well as the vehicle also. This is nothing but a hybrid charging. In this manner, the different modes of operations are there for the series hybrid train. But it has some disadvantage of there. If we observe here, suppose if the vehicle is getting a power only through the IC engine, here generator is there, here motor is there. The efficiency of the generator almost near to 75% the efficiency of the motor also less than the 75%. The overall efficiency of the system will be decreased because it requires a two missions. One more thing is the it has an additional generator is there. So, the cost as well as the weight of the vehicle also will be increased. These are the disadvantages of series hybrid train that we are going to overcome in case of a parallel hybrid train. All these modes we have discussed just now. Next, the disadvantage of series hybrid vehicle. And one more disadvantage is that whatever the traction power is required in a series hybrid vehicle that should be given by the single motor. So, we have to properly design that motor so that it can able to give the sufficient amount of power to the vehicle depending upon the requirement. Now, all these things we can overcome in case of a parallel hybrid train. In case of parallel hybrid train, the two sources are giving parallelly the mechanical power to the vehicle. So, in this case, this is the fuel tank, this is the engine. The output of the engine is the mechanical output that is given to the mechanical coupling. To assist the, the mechanical output coming from the IC engine, here we are keeping a motor and motor is getting a power from the DC source. This is the motor control circuit. This is the battery charging. 
So from the mechanical coupling, mechanical transmission system is there. The nothing but shaft. Through the shaft, the power will be reached to the wheels of a vehicle through the differential. Here, when compared to series hybrid train, we remove the generator which is placed after the icing. One more thing is that the different modes of operations are there. In the first mode of operation, only the IC engine is giving the mechanical output to the vehicle to move on the road. This, in this manner, the power is flows. Suppose if the vehicle is getting a power only through the battery means, now the power is flows in this manner. Suppose if the vehicle is going up to area, by that time it requires a high amount of mechanical power that should be taken from the both IC engine as well as a battery. Now the IC engine is giving a power in this manner, the battery is giving a power in this manner. Suppose if you apply the regenerative braking to the wheels of a vehicle means the kinetic energy of a wheel, the kinetic energy of the wheel that will be come to the motor shaft through the transmission system and mechanical coupling. Now this motor will be operating a generator, it is giving the electrical output that will be charged with the battery. So in this manner, during the regenerative braking, that power will be stored in a battery. In this manner, we can operate the parallel hybrid vehicle in a four different modes very effectively with a low weight and low cost because we removed the generator, which exactly we kept in a series hybrid vehicle. Thank you very much. If you have any doubt, you can ask me directly or you can ask in the comment box of my YouTube channel so that I am always welcome to answer all your questions.